moments ago before the commercial break. Roman Reigns in the bloodline trying to get out of the arena here in Charlotte before the imminent rival of Brock Lesnar, the Beast, and then this happened. Destroys the SUV. The cameras continued rolling during the break. Cowboy Brock loving it. Absolutely toying with the bloodline in their SUV. Turning that some big sideways and dragging it around. Brock's enjoying himself. Hell yeah, he just said blood for blood. What the hell is that thing, by the way? We were told uh, during the break it's a telehandler forklift. Where the hell that is? Well, that's a hell of a damn weaponry and, for and a you, cowboy. And you got to wonder what the condition of Roman Reigns and uh, the here. Usos it's are. And now you see uh, commandeering in in another vehicle. Uh, who knows whose truck this is? Let's go! Go, go man! Scared the devil. Go, go. Superhuman of a human. <laughs> the alpha male of our species picks up the door that he just ripped off, and here he comes! I'll, I'll tell you one thing right now, Pat, that door isn't the only thing that's unhinged here tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. Brock Lesnar has been at a completely different level ever since the attack at Madison Square Garden a couple of weeks ago. Lesnar told us last week, Roman Reigns changed the rules. He changed the game, and now Lesnar, with a door in tow, is marching out into the arena. Blood for blood. The alpha male of our species was shouting to Roman Reigns. Have you ever seen Roman Reigns retreat like he did? He looked scared to death as Brock Lesnar went after him with that forklift and then put the door on the truck. Follow-up question. Have you ever seen a human like Brock Lesnar before? No. Will you ever see a human like Brock Lesnar again? No. And Pat, in two weeks from Sunday, Roman Reigns is going to be inside a ring against this dude's carrying a door to a Silverado like it's like it's a piece of luggage. And he's smiling about it. It's a suitcase. You gotta wonder if he's gonna be carrying around Roman Reigns' limbs after WrestleMania. Listen, I've covered this man's career since he debuted 20 years ago today, Brock Lesnar. And I've never seen Brock Lesnar like he is now. How incensed he is, how irate he is, how upset he is. He is terrorizing Roman Reigns in the bloodline. Seven-time champion. Icon in the cage and in the ring. Lesnar. Look at this dude. Can you imagine being the one that he's pissed off at? No wonder they want sprinting the hell out of here. Roman Reigns was so confident moments ago. Oh, we're not done yet. We gotta believe Lesnar sees that door as being Roman Reigns' body. Throwing that thing around. 
Excuse me, I'm a little riled up. Roman Reigns. You done unleashed the bipolar beast, son. You see, Roman, you can run, you can hide, but in two weeks at WrestleMania, I'm gonna do more than blow the doors off you. Roman Reigns! I'm coming for blood! Coming for blood, Roman. You best be prepared. I'll see you in two, buddy. Scared to death, and I don't know how you get to the ring with the man. Two weeks from Sunday, Roman Reigns has to get in the ring with Brock Lesnar. Well, guys, let's switch gears now. Speaking of WrestleMania, we have a tag team championship match for the SmackDown titles. Last week on SmackDown, we started with Shinsuke Nakamura, Rick Boots, in the ring with the Usos.